Oh no, it was Melissa Rivers. It was? Yeah. F- from on. last week? <laughs> How are you getting everyone to call you back now this week? Joan, Joan, this is your this, redemption. This is, this is Joan Rivers' redemption. daughter. Yep. Jo- Hello. Hi. That, Melissa? You were interrupting us rudely. We were on the call with Candy. Excuse me, you had already texted me, can I call you? And I saw it late and I figured you thought I was being flaky and not responding. This is so your I call back you from back. last week? <laughs> Melissa, he's been trying to, it's Howie here, Howie Mandel. Hi, Howie. How are you? It's always good to hear your voice, not I know. so much Josh's. <laughs> <laughs> I, kn- I know comedian. that. I, and uh, he didn't want to talk. He's, he, you, he is, you should know that Josh is a good friend. And he he wouldn't uh, reveal any anything, but and uh, but are you getting married? Oh yeah, I am, which is terrifying. Well, and do we know this person? And, and if you don't <laughs> want to talk about, you know, we're live, so there's no oh, editing here. No, that's fine. Yeah, no, he's great. Uh, Josh has met him. You're Tom. He is a wee bit older than me. Okay. Uh, so does he, that mean he's on a he's respirator? Funny. He's not on dialysis. He's not that. He's not. He's, he's not, not on dialysis. He's not in in porn. No. Good. You you moved off of that. Yeah, but that was because he was a really nice guy who was just a really smart businessman. He didn't know about that guy. I was telling Josh about it. I him. don't remember. I knew no. him too. I rented he his building. Taken all that money and invested massively in real estate. Good for him. You're talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're talking about the ex. No, we're right? talking about porno guy. Uh, Por- we're talking a couple exes ago. The vivid guy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyone yeah. who thinks that that was that was his thing is sadly mistaken. It was just smart business. Yeah, because the big business in porn and real estate. Mm-hmm. Location, location, yeah. location, 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 location. It just so location, happens the location, location. He chose yeah, the genitals. Really nice guy. He's <laughs> an attorney. Um, oh, this new guy. Yeah. Well, actually, I hate. To, I can't. I keep calling him my boyfriend, but I guess he's actually my fiance because I've kept the ring. Yeah. Well, okay. And when is this happening? Uh, not for a year. Not till uh, March, I think, of twenty twenty five. Is that what I said, Josh? I already booked my room. Good. Oh, boy. it's destination. I'm so mm-hmm. you. No, I asked Josh. Did you book a normal room or did you book a full suite for yourself, Princess? Is he going? Obviously. Is he going with Candy? If he's going with Candy, they can't be under oh my God, seventeen thousand. Candy be my guest? Yeah. You do. don't have a plus one. You already have a plus one for someone else who's going, who you know, who's who's going single also. Who's going? She gave you a plus one? Well, I've never she heard of that. She assigned a plus one to I you. Isn't that just another guest? Hi, I'm Howie's daughter, by the way. This is Jacqueline. Hi. Hi. Um, but yeah, I've no, never heard of that where you're just assigned a plus one. Is single and she's going alone. So I figured they could be each other's dates. Is this like a new concept? I've never heard of like. I've never heard of Isn't like. Isn't that just an arranged, another invite? Uh, an arranged. Uh, no, it's an it's an it's a it's a numbers it's a numbers game. So really, you just invited two people that you wanted there, and you're telling them you're not allowed to have a plus one. Well, well neither I, one has asked because the <laughs> one knows that Josh is going and said, "Oh, that's perfect. We can be together." So that oh, other one I don't chose. Even know who this person is? Yes, you do. It's Laura. It's a woman. It's Laura. I would imagine Laura is a woman. With her. You were just in Hawaii with her. Oh, okay. Now I got it. So Laura Wasserman is my plus one. Now I got yes, it. Yes, and you're her plus one. Got it. Does that mean we have to share a room together? No, you're both more than capable of having your own rooms. I'm surprised she hasn't <laughs> called you to get a two-bedroom suite yet. Wow. <laughs> well, you said you had these, sex these with Amanda. Are, you can have sex with Laura. These people yeah, who stay in a regular room. These, th- these two are good friends and they're both, you know, sweets with views. It seems bougie. like Laura, the like Laura <laughs> is more familiar with Josh than Josh is with Laura. No, I'm no, not very close. No, not, they just went on vacation together. Josh, Laura and Candy Spelling. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they That's were like the, the new threes company. Charlie's Angels. I feel bad for the staff. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Do you think those three are easy? <laughs> what is, uh, Melissa? Wait, who's, uh, with, I want to know about Laura. Laura Why? Wasserman? No, she's just a really good friend of ours who has been incredibly successful and treats herself well. Her father-in-law was Lou Wasserman. Oh, got it. Got it. You know who he is, right? No. The no. big cheese. Uh, oh, pardon me? The big cheese. The big cheese. But uh, she, you know, and she she was an incredibly large, uh, important executive in the music business for years. And, you know. 
They can. They both. They both enjoy the how, fruits of their labor. How How old is your son now? I'm gonna cry. Why'd you have to bring that up? Why? 23. Oh my he gosh. Is a fifth year senior at Berkeley. Because uh, he took his extra year because the NCAA gave athletes back an extra year of eligibility. Is he an athlete? Yes, he is. What does he play? Lacrosse. Wow. Good. Yeah. Good for him. So, it, so remember, he's only half Jewish. <laughs> that's why he's an athlete. <laughs> what that's would, why lacrosse worked for him. And and is he happy with this guy that you are bringing on board? Yes. So, um, Steve actually called him and asked for his permission and make sure he was comfortable with it. Um, and are you putting your son with somebody at the yes, wedding the way you're doing it with Josh? Basically texted him back and said, look, I'm really happy with this. I'm going to paraphrase. Pump your brakes, buddy. Like, <sighs> let's just be like this for a while. Would have Joan loved him? Steve? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Josh, you've met him. I Could think not he's adorable. be any more waspy, buttoned up. He's very waspo. Waspo? Yeah. Wasp. Okay. Very goyashim. The, um, so, but your your son at the wedding, does he have a, a significant other? Um, no, he does not have a significant other. So will you put him like you're doing with Josh? Really, what we're doing is basically a party and then some sort of a ceremony will break out. I'm not walking down an aisle. Right. I'm not wearing white. Well, I'm, we're, we're having a fun party. You should right. wear red. No, I, he made me, you know, I wear a lot of black, especially when I'm dressed up, and he made me promise not to wear black. So what are your choices? Any well, other I'm down color. navy and charcoal gray. Or cream, that just like off-white. Cream. No. Or white be, white there, with let, a let's stain. Really? Like, yeah. I haven't, you know, spent Fad. a few... What about a white dress? In my life, occasionally on my back, white, some lightning bolt will come and strike me dead. No, here's what I'm saying. Listen to me, Melissa. A white dress with cum stains. <laughs> I like that. See? Monica Lewinsky. I like, I like, you know, that's why you and my parents got along. Yes. I, did. I like you know, that. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, you did. Her, mother, her mother is responsible for a big part of my dinner career. Party really? That, you had that I wasn't invited to because I was a woman. I had that? No, Josh. What? What? What happened? I, I missed party it. party you threw, like, two weeks ago. Oh, Dennis Basso's party. Well, you yes, you don't have a penis. I, I saw yeah. that. Insta you had that on Instagram. It, it was, was 70 of, of New York's finest homosexuals in my backyard. And I knew half of them. And I When you say backyard, do you, are you referring to the actual yard? <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, all right. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, not one woman was allowed to come. Really? Who? I said not one woman was allowed to come. Oh, Even with I a strap on. One was. No. Well, with strap I was on, gonna, maybe. I was going to crash the next night. You should have come. I've never... Is that politically correct, though? Nope. I don't think so. Probably not. It's not. You Probably can't... Probably not, but the gays get away with it. I feel triggered. Yeah, are you triggered <laughs> right now? Wait, so why was Joan responsible for a big part of your career? Joan, uh, in, in my generation, the biggest thing a comic could do to be kind of thought of even as a comic, the litmus test was The Tonight Show. And Joan Rivers was the uh, the biggest, most exciting guest host that Johnny ever had. In fact, when Joan was on the show and would fill in for Johnny, the ratings would go up. I had been trying for years and years to get on The Tonight Show, and, and the guy would come and watch me at the comedy store and not only say no, he'd say, you're never going to do it. When Joan would come in from New York, she'd go to the comedy store to work out her material that she would be using for her monologues on The Tonight Show. And one particular night, she saw me just on at The Tonight Show and said, have you ever been Have you ever been on The Tonight Show? And I said, no. She goes, what are you doing this week? Oh, my God. And she put me on The Tonight Show with her. Joan Rivers was the host my very first time on The Tonight Show. Johnny was at home and saw that episode and uh, the next day after I was on with that, he called and said, can I come back the next week? And I ended up doing 22 uh, episodes with Johnny Carson. So she really was majorly. Major. And any time, any time I was doing anything that I needed a guest star or I was doing a, uh, you know, a show or I was doing a pilot or something, 
she never, ever, ever said no to me. She said she was the, the, the sweetest, funniest, best, uh, you know, uh, champion of anything that I was ever doing in my life. And I'll always be indebted to her and I love her and I miss her. And it's a joy to talk to her offspring right now. Thank you. I like to think of myself more as her spawn. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> but she was great. And then uh, you didn't know uh, the, the, the funny guy. He, did you ever see uh, the uh, documentary on Joan? So good. It was so good. And I remember like the next day she, she had given me the n number. She said, call Billy, Billy Samoth. Do you know who Billy Samoth is? In the, in the documentary, he disappeared halfway through that documentary, right? Yep. Yeah, he was. I'll he, just leave it. And he has passed away since. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not know. He disappeared. He was he, her manager. Billy was, um, what's the safest word? Mercurial. That's a big word. I don't even know what that means. How's but that, but when he left, like when he left, he, he worked for Sandy. Didn't he work for Sandy Gallon? Claire. For years and years and <laughs> exactly. years. Exactly. He went out on his own. I don't know what anything means. Yeah, he worked for Sandy Gallon. Oh, okay. And a bunch of big people. But then when he left the business for a minute, he went and worked at Starbucks. I remember one morning I, I, I caught him, he called me, he goes, it's nine o'clock and I've already made $8 in tips. <laughs> Why did he do that? Uh, he was mercurial, I guess is the term. She what, did, what does that mean? What Eight dollars in tips. You no. know the picture. Mercurial. It's on the What's the de oh. a big oh, there, read the, read the, the instruct, uh, the uh, definition. Uh, Subject is sudden or unpredictable. It's a fancy word for can, what would you like? Oh, so he was bipolar. I don't. I didn't know him that well. She yeah. knew him. He, she he grew was, up with he him. Was, he was a a great character of a particular generation in Hollywood. A lot of people do that about though. How much I have, hate having to be so careful with my words. That's the today. Wow. I Isn't know. that well, is like that what Dave Chappelle did too? Though he just. He got an uh, offer and know. stopped and left and went somewhere else. It's the same kind of thing. He decided to leave. Well, are you saying that you're trying to identify as politically correct? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to identify as surviving. <laughs> it is weird. And especially because we're live. I have to watch exactly. myself. I watch myself, but I can't yeah. really control myself. But it is, he was an interesting character, but all of them were. I think Josh and I talked last week about, I said, did you know? Cause he reminded me of a young Sandy. You know, with the because it, it, we were ta we were talking about the houses. Sandy was always as much as he was in show business, he, he was in real estate. The, houses. Yeah. the real estate he did was amazing. Also, art. Yes, I didn't know the art part. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he had and... very good heart. That was a um, as does David Geffen and Barry Diller, and, Alan and those Bergman. three really got heavily into collecting important art. You're right, because I remember I went to his house. This was probably in 82 or 83, Sandy's house. And he had a red uh, piece of uh, wood. It was lacquer. I hadn't really seen lacquer in 82. It was a, just a lacquer board leaning up against the wall. And he said, this is a very important artist. And it was worth a fortune. Was this in the Hamptons? Yeah. This was here in L.A. Yeah. This was here in L.A. He oh, was a great character. were unbelievable. unbelievable. I was fortunate enough to have lunch with him a bit one of his houses before he passed. And I just remember thinking, no one does a house better than Sandy. Sandy he was the, better than any architect, interior designer, anyone. He just had that innate style. Yeah, he had incredible taste. He had great taste. The last time I saw him was in Malibu at a restaurant called Tradnoy mm -hmm. and he was sitting I out remember Tradnoy it's still there and he was sitting he was sitting outside in the patio area and uh there was a a younger man sitting there with him and I went over and they were they were um sharing a giant piece of chocolate cake and he introduced me to this guy as his trainer that was probably his ex-husband, who I know. No, I think it was his trainer. Oh, really? It really was his trainer who he had come over and share chocolate cake with. That. It's very sandy. Oh, That's my like goodness. my mom with her trainer. They would, My mom would be running late, and then she'd be like, oh, God, I just need some coffee. Sit down for a sec. And next thing you knew, the hour was up, and all they had done was have coffee. That's the same as Sandy. That yeah. whole group of so the, the Sandy Gallon story also was wasn't the the Sandy Gallon story uh, and I, I don't know if this is when your mother left and it's just it might be hearsay, but Sandy Gallon was this very wonderfully um, gay, 
gay wasn't the word I was looking for, but he was gay. He happened to be gay, but he had a flamboyance about him in his personality where he, he represented all these great people like Joan and, and, and Dolly Parton and Streisand. everybody. And uh, I think, did your mother not get mad when she said, okay, good news and bad news, ABC has bought the variety show and the bad news is I'm the host. He he ended up doing the, like, wasn't that a show that your mother should have done? And he ended up, there was a Sandy Gallen show for one season. Really? Yes, he decided yeah. at one point that he wanted to be talent, not just behind the scenes. Right. And they bought, he, he pitched and got a big variety show. It was like gonna be like the next Ed Sullivan. Yeah. And everybody came on like the first two episodes. I remember going, oh my God, this is like digging up parts of my memory to the first taping because my mom was on and Milton Burl came out in a peacock suit like NBC huh. peacock. And I remember Berlin, remember that band sure. performing? Wow. So uh, he had a peacock. The guy with the biggest cock in Hollywood had right. a peacock. Yeah, and, and your mother and, and Sandy Gallon was the Berlin host. performing. Wow, you probably and by witnessed. The way, I have really weird flashes of memory like that. I would imagine you as a little girl because they took you everywhere, right? You were everywhere. Yep. Your yep. mother, and, and one of the reasons I like before I uh, knew Joan, my entree into comedy, and I've talked about this many times. The reason it was not stand up; it was Alan Funt oh, and wow. Candid Camera. And Joan, you, she was a Who writer. Was Alan Funt married to. He was married. To I don't know. Betty, not Betty White. Who was no. Alan no, Funt you're thinking to? of um, Alan uh, Hunt. No, Alan Funt was married to another. No, no, no. I no, know who no, you're. No. But the one who was married, he was married to. Married to a really nice man, and Alan Funt was not nice. <laughs> I never knew Alan Funt, but the but the but the, I loved Ken the Camera. That is the predecessor to Punk to every show that you've ever seen to to, to all those shows. And your mother was a writer. Isn't that where, like, at the beginning of her career, wasn't she a writer on that show? Yes. And that's where they were all like, they all, he was so mean. And when she finally quit, he said, good luck to you, Joanne. Never <laughs> bothered to even learn her name. He called her Joanne? <laughs> How long did she work there? I don't know. I just And then she also helped write, um, and this is all before my time, Topo Gijo, which I guess was the Ed Sullivan show, and yeah. she said whenever they get uh, were desperate, they would just say, "Have have have Topo say, oh Eddie, give me a kiss." That was it, and right. Uh, <laughs> do me a favor. Whenever they did now. <laughs> I love Topo Gijo. That's what I copy my voice that I that, that I do, which became Bobby. I, I watched that every time. I had no idea that your mother wrote on that. That's where you yeah. got the voice from? No, I got the voice for choking on a piece of cake, but I, I started doing those voices. That's closer to uh, what I did for uh, Gizmo, Gizmo Gremlins. Yes, yeah. I'm Isn't Gizmo. that funny? Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah. Josh, what what are you what what are you doing? And you were on Howie's show last week. What's this about? Any reason, any reason this guy has to hang in Van Nuys, <laughs> he looks for it. Literally. Can we talk about that? Josh is now a CNN contributor. No, I saw not. that. Are you? I saw that. I learned why uh, about insurance on housing. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. yes. I showed you that. Yeah. Yes. I'm sitting there watching with CNN on in the background, and I'm like, they're like, oh, real estate specialist. CNN and I'm, contributor. I, I look up, and I'm like, holy fuck, there's Josh. <laughs> holy fuck, there's Josh. <laughs> so funny. It was good, Being though. Being serious. He was being serious. He was being, uh, 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 um, he was informing us all was why, it, why what it, it's prohibitive to buy Hold on, real estate. You don't have to hear the dogs barking. What? I just took you off speaker so you don't have to hear my dogs barking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather know it's the dogs ringing, barking than you're again. living with somebody just with one croup. Of those days. I'd rather talk to you guys. No. That's okay. Well, thank you so much. Everything's good. I'm so happy for you and your life and you found your your next significant other. Hopefully this is the last, this sticks. Hopefully, yeah. you know, well, I've only had one other. I know, but I hope this sticks. I would hate to hear that it didn't work out and then Josh ends up for the rest of his life with that uh, person that you're putting him with. 
<laughs> no matter what, my mother taught me well, I'll keep the ring. Oh, good. See? Good. See? Good. I was trained well. You are. You are. Well, Melissa, you're always a pleasure. Thank you. If you ever need me, I'm here for you. Love you. I know. I love you guys. Bye. 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 Wow. So Josh Flagg has brought us uh, Melissa Rivers. And we got more. And we got, we have, uh, we had Candy Spelling. And now Heather McDonald wants to call in. Let her call in. 